Okay, so after clean installation of Windows 10, you'll have base system drivers and built to Windows 10 or obtained via Windows Update. You may also need to get some system drivers from Dell. And Dell have made this new program called Dell Update. And I'm just going to, to install it on my XPS 9365. So if we have a look at the supported systems here, we'll see that they're mainly focusing on home models. So they're Alienware, Inspiron, and XPS systems, and some Vostro systems as well. However, I installed it on an Optiplex 7060, a business system, and it seemed to work fine. I also installed it on quite an old system, an Optiplex 7010, and it still found some driver updates. So I would just give it a try on any Dell system with a UFI bias. So I was going to go ahead and install the drivers manually, but I'm just going to try this Dell update application instead. So I'm going to double click the installer, accept the user account control prompt, and go ahead with the install. And that's it installed. So if we select close, then what we can do is go to the start menu and try and launch Dell Update. So I'm just going to launch it as normal and see if it works. And basically what I found is that it doesn't work. So if you go ahead and select check, you'll get an error. So I'm going to close it down and I'm going to go back to the start menu and I'm going to right click it and I'm going to select more and then run as administrator. I'm going to select the user account control prompt. And now I'm going to try again. So I'll just select check. And now, of course, it begins to work because the Dell update program needs administrator privileges in order to install drivers. Dell should have this program set to always run as an administrator, so you don't have the other problem. So it's found one critical update, and it's found 12 recommended updates. So let's just scroll through the list. So these are all system drivers that apply to my system. And they're actually most of the ones that I got in the downloads folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and select install. And so it's downloading what basically half a gigabyte worth of system drivers. And it's going to go ahead and install these. Okay, so that's it, went ahead and installed these drivers. So now I'll be told that I need to restart the computer. Um, for some reason, this warning came up telling me that I'm already running the program. So I'll just select OK with that, and you'll see that it's installed 12 of 13, and it said one update failed. So I'm going to just go ahead and select Restart now. And after the restart, I'm going to relaunch Dell Update. And of course, I'm going to do this as an administrator. So I'm going to select Check again. And it should go ahead and install the driver that failed. So here's the driver install that failed. So I'm going to select Install. So it likely failed because the computer needed to restart to install all the other drivers. So that's it. It's gone ahead and installed this update. So I'm going to select close. And once again, I got the error message 
saying that another instance of this program is, is running. Okay, so after restarting the computer, what I'm going to do is right-click Dell Update and select Run as Administrator again. I accept the User Account Control Prompt and once again select Check for Update. Now, in theory, it should say you've got all the updates because it only listed 13 last time. And there we go, the system is up to date. So I don't need to install any more drivers.